Hi and welcome to today's vlog. I've been really struggling lately um, to get a vlog out. Um, I've been struggling a bit with motivation, I've been struggling a bit with inspiration, and I've been struggling a bit with uh, subject matter. So today I've decided that what I'm going to do is strip everything back to basics, which involves just me and my camera. No filters, no tripods, no grand vistas. Just wandering through this woodland here with my camera. And I can cut the vlog in bits, but essentially just my camera. One lens, and I'm gonna try and get some shots here of these bluebells. And uh, they're not in the best of nick, actually, the bluebells. They're kind of on the way out a little bit, but they still look really nice. The colors are still really nice on them. So what I'm doing is I'm just wandering through this wood. I've got three shots in mind. One is a, uh, well, you'll see. So for shot number one, I'm trying to isolate a bluebell out amongst a bunch of bluebells uh, with a shallow depth of field. I want to shoot through some other bluebells. So I get that nice purple haze in the foreground and then a nice singular, hopefully sharp bluebell with some blurred um, purple in the background as well. Uh, I found a little patch here uh, which might do the job quite nicely, uh, <clears throat> but I need to get down low to uh, to get the shot. So that's the plan now. got enough of those close-up ones I think. What I was trying to do really was just to um, isolate out an individual um, bluebell and use the others around it for some nice sort of blurred out effects. Uh, also the grass as well in some instances. I don't know if it's worked. I hope it's worked. Um, you never know. Uh, I've tried a couple of different apertures there. Some were f2.8 which is the widest that this lens goes to and then some were at f4 and then a couple in between I think f3.2 but uh, I'll have a look at those when I get them back and have a look and see how they look. And now on to my next shot that I'm aiming to get. This might take a little bit longer because I need to find a more carpeted area of bluebells with some nice trees so we shall have to find them. This place right here is exactly what I've been looking for. It's uh, lots of nice straight trees, no branches until they're quite high up. A lovely carpet of bluebells, 
lots of good angles, like good verticals here. So that's what I'm doing here is I've just been waiting for the sun to come out and it's now out. And I'm shooting, uh, just shooting different compositions around here with these verticals. I think they're just fantastic. They look really good. Got a tree over there that's catching my eye that's got some really nice sunlight on the branch, on the leaves. So I'll probably head over there in a minute. The sun's just dropped back in now. I'll probably head over there in a minute and um, yeah, go and try and take advantage of that. But I'm going to take a little wander through here. Uh, yeah, and these, this is my next shot that I'm after. It's just a nice carpet of bluebells with these real vertical trees. So uh, yeah, hopefully yeah, it's going to look really good. falling on that tree was absolutely gorgeous so uh, I had to take advantage of that and try and get a few snaps I'm not really very good at taking photographs of trees but wow that just the way that the light the tree was standing out against the background with that light was absolutely amazing so um, hopefully um, hopefully I've caught that and there was a little row of trees in the foreground so there's like a couple of trunks leading up to the trunk of the tree with the beautifully lit branches and leaves so hopefully i've captured that and it's a bit of a leading line into it i don't know but um oh, yeah that was really nice something nice to see even if it hasn't turned out in 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 uh in the camera it was still something really nice to see so it's made it worthwhile coming out really just uh just to be out here even if i haven't got any shots really really nice So it's a bit mad really, you just walk just across the uh, other side of this little pathway here and you've gone from a completely carpeted uh, floor, woodland floor of bluebells to um, completely nothing, uh, but still lots of very tall uh, pine trees, I think pine trees are they, or Scots pine, I'm not sure, but very tall trees and, and uh, with very bare, uh, very bare floor. Uh, and this brings me on to my last uh, photo that I wanted to get today um, which is some uh, ICM uh, which is intentional camera movement and this place here is absolutely perfect for it because um, because the trees just are, are just so um, beautifully vertical and there's very few branches that are coming across horizontally and you can really uh, get some interesting shots with this so what I've done here is I've uh, I've been shooting all of these shots pretty much on aperture priority, letting the aperture di dictate the uh, shutter speed and putting the ISO on auto. Uh, but for this particular one, I want a longer shutter speed, so I've stopped down the aperture a bit to about f11 and put the ISO well somewhere between f8 and f11 and put it at ISO 100, which is forcing longer shutter speeds, which means that I can. I've got more time to use that camera movement. I've got three different types of camera movement I'm trying out. One is just vertical, uh, one is pulling the zoom in and out as I shoot the shot, and the other one is twisting the camera as I shoot the shot. Not so keen on the camera twist, but the other two look quite good. So um, yeah, this is uh, this is really uh, yeah really enjoyable. Getting back to basics and uh, having some fun.
Wow, it's been brilliant here. But uh, I think I'm done for the day. Uh, had a great time though, I love these woods, fantastic. Never been here before, well I have been here before a couple of times, but I've never been this deep into them. They are absolutely beautiful. And uh, the carpet of bluebells is amazing. Um, I've really enjoyed myself. I've had, a, I've had a dodgy couple of weeks in terms of photography, what with my accident at Rivington and uh, couple of negative comments and they knock you back they knock you back knock you back more than you think um, but coming out on a day like today and just knocking it back to basics and just enjoying myself you know and just having a bit of fun which is what I got into photography for in the first place being creative and not worrying too much about the images not getting too stressed over the end result just enjoying the fact that I'm out here has been really great I've, uh, I've really really enjoyed it um, I've got to find my way back to the car now because I'm lost. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't remember walking past these muddy tire tracks. <clears throat> anyway, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time here today, uh, a really great time, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. Um, and uh, until the next vlog, I'll see you soon. <laughs>